my name is Ryan, and I'm going to be the moderator for today's University Exchange. On behalf of Blue Sky Education, we'd all like to welcome you to the first Blue Sky U.S. University Student Online Exchange session. Hi everyone, um, I'm Honey, I'm from Miami, Florida, and I'm also a senior there. Um, and I guess one interesting fact about me is that I really like to draw comics, so I do that in my free time. I'm, I'm Stephanie, I'm from Singapore. Um, I'm studying at the National University of Singapore, and I'm in my third year. Um, something interesting is that I like running a lot. My name is Naoya, and I'm from Japan. And yeah, and recently I went to Frank Ukulele. Next up. <laughs> hey, that sounds pretty good to me. Wow. How many states are in the United States? Is it 27, 50, 42, or 75? All right, and yes, the correct answer is 56. Can you find a pillow? Team one, go find me a pillow. And go. First one to find a pillow wins. Oh, well, that was easy. What is the most popular food in the U.S.? Right now, oh. I, I know it, U.S. is a lot of culture and... But like, so, uh, most usually, people, uh, like, the fastest thing that people would eat would be like burger and fries. That's mm -hmm. a very stereotypical American food combination because it's very fast and it's very cheap. For now, I'm going to introduce my uh, country's cultural uh, food culture, the ramen. There are various kind of foods, but I believe that ramen is one of the most be uh, beloved foods in Japan. So this first picture is kind of a top view of Niagara Falls. It's really large. Um, Niagara Falls is actually three sets. I believe there's, it's actually a set of three waterfalls, um, and two of them are in New York, and I want to see one of them. I wanted to do the online history picture because I thought it would be interesting to see how uh, how university lecture is different to a lesson at school. I think the online exchange program is definitely beneficial for those who don't speak English, especially if they come from a non-English native speaking country. I really wanted to join these exchanges because I really like learning about new cultures and I thought this would be a great opportunity to meet some people from around the world and learn about their cultures and help teach them about also my culture as well.